All right, constantly choosing fast food and highly processed meals is certainly taking a toll on our collective health in America. A new study links Western diets with a rise in autoimmune diseases. Board certified physician and author of Goodbye Lupus, Dr. Brooke Goldner joins me now with more on this. Good to see you. First, Dr. Goldner, let's define autoimmune diseases. Great to see you today. So autoimmune diseases are a collection of diseases where the immune system, which is supposed to protect you, right, from infections and from injuries, actually starts to get confused. And instead of just attacking those viruses and bacteria, can start attacking your own body. And it can show up in many different ways. Multiple sclerosis, it can attack your nervous system. With lupus, it can attack many different organs and joints, rheumatoid arthritis, primarily joint pain and fatigue. But there's many, many different types of autoimmune diseases, but they act in the same way. And until recently, Western medicine has largely regarded them as genetic diseases, meaning you get the gene for the disease, you get the disease. And I have long fought back against this because I myself was diagnosed with lupus at 16. And today is my birthday. I'm 45 today. And uh, as of today, I have been lupus free for over 16 years because I changed my diet. And so as a doctor, I have completely changed the way I practice medicine and I've helped thousands of people get their health back from autoimmune as well. But I've always fought against this, that the primary thing that Western medicine says is it's genetic. So right, right. So first of all, Dr. Goldner, happy birthday. I want to say that first of all. You. So, you know, I think that a lot of people thought this way. Some people go, oh, well, we were born with this, but others you're saying can develop these autoimmune diseases later in life. Most of us who are diagnosed with autoimmune disease are diagnosed later in life. I was diagnosed at 16. I didn't have those antibodies before then. Most people are diagnosed either sometime during their teens or later on during pregnancy or sometimes uh, later on during um, when their retirement age. There's so many different areas and now it's getting younger and younger. Mm -hmm. And so researchers out in London, the Francis Crick Institute, they're genetic researchers, we're trying to figure out if these are purely genetic diseases, why is it that over the past 40 years, we have seen an increase in autoimmune diseases all over the world, anywhere from three to 9% increase per year. And it's been spreading to countries where we didn't see it before. So like Crohn's and ulcerative colitis, they're seeing that in Asia and the Middle East where they never used to see it before. So they were trying to figure out has human genetics been changing? And that's why. And what they found is no, human genetics is largely the same. We're not growing gills. We have no new, new things that are really remarkably happening in our genetics right now. But what has changed and what really uh, is what they found is the cause is that the rise and acceptance and adoption of the Western diet, very high in meat, dairy, processed foods, fast foods, that as other cultures and societies and, and countries have adopted our way of eating, their rates of autoimmune diseases have gone up at the same time and at the same rate. So Dr. Goldner, I mean, as a health reporter, I'm always encouraging people to eat healthy. Um, we know what we're doing to contribute to the problem. What is the solution? Now, unfortunately, at the end of the study, the researchers actually said, there's nothing we can do about people's diets. So we'll just create new medicines trying to target these genes. And I, that I shed some tears into my salad at that point. But no, the same thing that can trigger these diseases can also reverse the diseases. So if you stop eating the things that are making you sick or all that fast food, the heavy amounts of meat and dairy and processed foods that people are eating, and instead switch to a more plant-based way of eating, especially foods that are very high in nutrients. I always tell people that if you add your green smoothies to your diet, where you shove the blender full of dark leafy greens like spinach and kale, you add anti-inflammatory flax and chia seeds to that, you add water to it, which is necessary to heal and reverse inflammation, and then add your favorite fruit, you know, frozen pineapple, banana, make it taste like a pina colada without the booze, right? Blend that up and you drink it all day and you can nourish your body and allow it to repair itself and restore health. And that's good for everybody, even if you don't have autoimmune even now, 16 years lupus free, still drink one every day. Nice. Well, Dr. Goldner, thank you for your time again. Happy birthday and always appreciate talking to you about healthy living habits. Always my pleasure. Thank you.